Hello, Sorin here from Memberfix. Uh, we just launched a new WordPress plugin that helps you integrate MemberPress with uh, Thrivecart. And uh, this video is for me to show you how to work with it and how it works for the end customer so that you can uh, have a good idea of how it works. So right here is my uh, test product, as you can see, it's a MemberPress integration test. Um, if I add my email address and um, I press continue, it will ask me for my card details. I'll add the test card since this is the test uh, option from uh, Thrivecard. Uh, and I'll complete the order. Now, when that's done, um, it will do all the Thrivecard stuff that it does. And when that's done, um, everything is done in Thrivecard. Now um, I should receive an email ad, a email on my email address that I used with my uh, password um, generation link. But since I'm using a test site, there are no emails that can get there. So um, I'm going to have to use the magic of video editing to get my password changed so that I can uh, use it. Now, um, since that's done, now I have a new password. Uh, I can go to my site, which is my test site, uh, and I can enter my details, which in this case are my email address uh, and my new password, which is uh, 123. Uh, I can log in, and there you go. I'm in my site, uh, I had the account created for me. If I go to account, uh, I can see my uh, subscriptions, which is the one for membership one. You'll see how that works um, in the later stage of, of the video. Um, what I can do here is I can go to subscription management. And in here I have two options. I can either pause my subscription or cancel my subscription. If I press pause, then I get redirected to the same page. As soon as it loads, there you go. Um, it lets me know that my subscription was paused and the pause button uh, changes to a resume subscription button which i can then use whenever i want to resume my uh, subscription uh, let's say that the moment is now and i press resume um, as soon as that's loaded i'm going to see that my subscription was resumed and again i have the two options of cancellations and pausing now uh, with that, uh, I can do the last step of the process, which is canceling my subscription. If I do want to cancel my subscription, um, I press on cancel subscription and um, it canceled my subscription. Now, I can still see this page and I can still see my subscription here because it is still active. Um, because my current transaction did not uh, expire the payment cycle did not expire so i'm still in the month that i already paid for when the next month come i will not be charged again and um, i will uh, lose my access when the next payment cycle comes as any subscription uh, system uh, but since we cannot wait for a month to pass i'm going to again use the magic of video editing to uh, have my transaction expired and then we can see how how it looks now with the transaction expired i can refresh my page and i can see that my account is no longer active and i can subscribe again which will take me to the member press um, uh, checkout link not the drive card one that's going to come in a future update with uh, with that link but at the moment, um, that's not available. Um, you can hide it in CSS or um, leave it like that. Now, uh, with all of that said, that's how the plugin works. Um, now let's see how we can uh, configure it in the back end and um, see how, uh, how it works out for, for you. So the way you configure the plugin is from within your WordPress dashboard you go to Tools and you click on MemberPress Thrivecard. Here 
you get to your uh, settings page where you can add your API key, your uh, webhook secret. Well, well, you don't really have the option. You have to add them. And then you have to set the webhook in uh, TriFord. I'm going to show you how to do all of those in a second. Uh, and the last thing is that you can set your mode from test to live. That's, that means that your mode from Thrivecard, if you're doing test payments in Thrivecard like I did, you have to be on test. If you want it to have real payments, you use live, right? So let's see how we can get our API key, how we can set our webhook and how we can get our webhook secret. After you log in to Thrivecard, um, you have to press on your icon here on settings and uh, in here you press on API and webhooks. You go to API keys, view settings. As you can see, I already have to. Uh, you press on create API, give it a name. Let's say uh, test integration. It doesn't have to be that. You can say whatever name you want. Uh, it just needs to be representative so that you don't forget what it is for. Um, and you get your API key. You copy that, you go back to your settings, you paste it in there, and there you go, you have your API key. Now, let's set up the webhook. We copy the link that we have here, we go to DriveCart again. Again, we go to settings, to API and webhooks, to webhooks and notifications, and in here we can set a new webhook. Uh, you can press add another webhook, add a name, add the webhook URL that you you copied and most importantly you have to tick this box with the receive results as json if you do not tick that uh, your um, integration will not work so make sure that you tick that box and then you press on save webhook i'm not going to do that because i already have one from my previous test uh, here it is member press integration it looks the same i have the name i have the webhook and i tick the box now uh, with that done, uh, Thrivecart will send webhooks to that link whenever something happens. Uh, but if it does not have the secret on it, the plugin will not process those requests. That's one of the points of the security I was talking in the article. So to get that webhook secret, what you have to do is you go to your Thrivecart account again, to settings again, uh, API and webhooks, and Thrivecart order validation. Here you press on view settings. You get your secret word from here. You copy it. You go to the site, paste it in, set your mode, and press save credentials. After you press that, you'll see that you have a new option here, product mapping, which already has my member my member -based memberships on the on the left, and my drive card product IDs on the right. Now, the only membership that I'm going to integrate is membership one. So for membership one, I need to get a product ID, which in my case is already filled from my previous test. Uh, but how you can get that is fairly simple. You go to Thrivecart, you go to your products, and in here you open the product that you want. In my case is this one. Uh, here I press on edit and uh, um, I press save and get the URL. And in here, um, I have my options and at the top I have my link which I'm going to bring down a bit here um, if you see it's track card your name products and the ID of the product that's the ID you copy uh, you copy that number you paste it here you press save mapping and it will let you know when that's saved and um, that's pretty much it that's everything you have to do to work with the, with the plugin from now on it will just work on itself if you set the right mode and you tick that box in DriveCard. Uh, let us know what use cases are you using it for, what uh, type of membership websites you have uh, in the comment section. Thank you.